connection. Can you talk well, about that a little bit? Updating the last studies that were done in the late 1990s about the economic impact of state parks, we believe now that spending for state parks and as it reverberates through the economy brings the state of Michigan about $650 million a year. And this is a tremendous impact. Uh, and as we go further north, state parks are obviously critical and I think every district in the state but as we go further north where the state park is often the tourist attraction right. uh, and I talked about uh, one the other day to someone about Hef State Park by Rogers City. Rogers City is not near the expressway it's a it's a little <laughs> off the beaten path. Right. I love going to Rogers yeah, City by the way as is. you can tell. It, it's what a beautiful park up on a bluff overlooking the beach a, an easy bike ride to town, but yet outside of town. But that park is an economic engine for Presque Isle County. Mm -hmm. This is really critical that we don't forget some of the parks that in terms of visitation may be in the lower half in terms of total visitation compared to a very busy place, uh, the busiest, uh, Holland State Park, State Warren Park. Dune State Park. Right. But these other parks are absolutely vital to local economies. And they are a tremendous way to think about tourism in two ways. One is, of course, we want to attract folks to Michigan. Michigan is not a pass-through state. You don't get here going on the way to anywhere no. <laughs> because those beautiful lakes are a barrier. Yeah. You've got to want to come here. And when you want to come here, the attractions are key, and our state parks are literally at the top of many people's lists. But second of all, it's kind of like filling a bathtub that if we turn the tap on and some of this new money and new, new visitors are coming in, but Michiganians leave the state, uh, you know, the water very just safe. flows out of the bathtub and our, in, in, and our net's not very good. Yeah. With the staycations, exactly what you're talking about. I think <laughs> what we've got going here is for folks in the Great Lakes and the Midwest region, we have a tremendous vacation land that's close to home. And for Michiganians, being a tourist in your own state is one of those great things where, for most of us, there's a corner of this state we don't know. What a great year to learn about that corner, not have to buy a second fishing license or whatever it is, because you're already licensed here in Michigan. So maybe you're out of your comfort zone or you always go this way, now we'll go that way. But what a great way to learn something new this year. Walk a new beach, fish a new lake, boat a new stream, all these things, hike a new trail. What a great, what a great year to do that. And this, the weather this Memorial Day is looking great for yeah. it. It is, it is, and, and you're right, we forget. I think for many of us who have been born and raised here especially, and lived in Michigan most of our lives, we forget what a jewel of a state park we, or of a state we have with the state parks yep. and the natural resources in our state parks. Yep. Um, great, great way to put it. As we talk about fishing, that brings up another point. When we talk about going into our state parks where there are also fishing access sites in the state parks, there's another fee that we have to pay. Yeah. What happens to that fee with the $10? We have uh, uh, more than 800 boating access sites that the DNR operates. Uh, on about uh, 8 or 9 percent of them, there's a separate fee of $6 a day or $24 a year. Uh, that fee would go away under this proposal and again would be paid for you would get the privilege of using any DNR operated boating access site with your state park passport, which is your license plate if you voluntarily put $10 on it. Again, what we're saying is this is efficient and convenient for consumers, it's efficient and convenient for the DNR, and we think more folks will participate as they did in Montana. Now, They the, found that in Montana that more folks participated? Yes. They, they were they were less than 15 percent were were buying these stickers, paying these entrance fees, and now more than three quarters of the vehicles registered pay the fee, and it's voluntary. It's not mandatory. That's what we're having here. That's what our the legislation that you have proposed does gives people that opportunity to to do this. And more of them also go fishing now and try fishing. There's more fishing. folks out okay. doing That's things. That's great. That's you know, great. because again, one of those barriers is well, if I if it costs me money to get in and I don't like it, I, I wish I wouldn't have paid it. But you know, once it's a small amount right. and it's easy to do because every year at your birthday when you go in on your vehicle registration or even better if you do it online and we'd really love to encourage <laughs> folks to do online a vehicle registration. 
the Department of Natural Resources with State Park Camping now, more than 70% of camping reservations are done online. This is working so well because folks are efficient in the way they select their places to camp. This has reduced administrative costs and again put more dollars back into managing the resource, taking care of the visitors. That's good. And we yeah. think we could help the Secretary of State do that with vehicle registrations. Very positive thing for Michigan government. And it's my understanding very few people uh, get their license plate online right now, which yeah. I know the Secretary has been encouraging people to do for some time. I was kind of surprised when I heard the number because yeah. I thought more people got their plates online. You want to? Yeah, it was less than 10% get them online. Wow. Whereas, you know, like I was saying, 70% yeah. of camping reservations. So we, we think there's ways to improve. And if this proposal goes through, the Citizens Committee is looking forward to working with folks in the Secretary of State's office and others to try to find ways to increase the proportion of folks doing business online. Yeah. We all want efficient government here in Michigan. Right. We want to take care of our resources and your resources. And it also might be a way for the Secretary of State's office to lower their costs eventually too exactly. because if more people buy online exactly. um, they're going to be able to and if we can encourage people from the state parks user groups who already buy their state parks pass online yep. then to get their state parks pass passport now yes. when they get their license plate and do it all online that will help reduce the cost, certainly slow the increase in costs Absolutely. for the Secretary of State's office as well as for the Department of Natural Resources. Absolutely. Well, Chuck, we're almost out of time, but um, I want to ask you, first of all, any last thoughts that we should talk about or share with the folks that we haven't already talked about? And, I, and before I let you do that, I will just say to our viewers that we will have on the, the screen with our presentation today a map of where the state parks are located in Michigan, yep. and you can see that you are less than an hour's drive from state a state park, no matter where you are in Michigan, and how important they are. And there may be some that they don't know about now that they'll see when they see the map. Yep. So any li last thoughts that you'd like to share I, with us? I, I think my great last thought is that it's a great time for folks to get out of doors and enjoy this great state. Too often our image of Michigan is one of uh, Things are rough, things are tough, uh, we're, we're suffering, we get called things like rust belt or worse. Yeah. Michigan is one of the greatest green belts on this earth. We have more fresh water than any place on the, in the world. We have a tremendous fishery, abundant wildlife, more than half the state is forests. We have the second most diverse agriculture in the state. And when you visit state parks, you're up close and personal with the environment. Here you see the best of Michigan and you run into the greatest people. You will be so happy with the folks you meet. <laughs> yeah. You will form lifetime friendships with the people in the campsite next to you, the folks you meet on the beach, somebody you see on the hiking trail. These are great places. Uh, Michigan's a great place and this is a way to celebrate it. Thank you. I couldn't have said it better. You're right. Thank you very much, Dr. Chuck Nelson from Michigan State University. I really appreciate you being with us today. And again, to our viewers, I want to say thank you very much. You've heard it said and said very well. Michigan is a jewel of a state and our state parks are the crown jewels in Michigan. So I hope you enjoy visiting a Michigan State Park at least one sometime this summer and enjoy the summer. Happy trails in Michigan. Thank you. This is Lansing to the Lakeshore with Senator Patty Burkholz.